Hi, Bob VTT. We're here looking at the combat tracker. Amira's day just gets worse. Um, we have the DM view and we have the player view. Now, uh, the combat tracker for uh, is up in the top left hand corner. You can see this up here. Likewise for the player. Now, it's currently empty. We've not added anything into it. Um, what we'll start off first of all is just as DM selecting these tokens. You can either use one individually or you can select the group and add to combat tracker. As the DM, you will see them come up. Each monster has its icon, it has its initiative role, which is done automatically, its hit points, and various other buttons here, which we'll cover. Now we can either accept these or I can go down here to press re roll and Depending on how you do it, some groups use a reroll every um, new round, for example. So we'll take this here. From a player perspective, what you will see are the monsters coming up, and you will see their initiative order. And if you need to find them, you can use this button to move around the screen. Likewise, if you're the DM, you can also use the same buttons. Now you'll notice that a mirror is not added to it. Now you can now ask your players to roll initiative and they'll add it or you can right click if you wish to do so and add them into the combat tracker if as dm you um add them to it you see it's not rolled their initiative as a player what we need to do is we need to actually roll initiative for themselves that goes into the um um, item there and you can see as a player we're going up now for the monsters what we'll want to do is we can potentially hide this even though we've rolled it we might not want the player to be aware of it yet they might have failed the perception check as a player suddenly I don't see this I can change that back and you can see so the main item from here also is that if I decide to just remove this from combat, you can see that Amalika, the player, sorry, Amira, the player can see her own hit points, but none of the monsters. DM sees everybody. To go into combat, I can press this icon on the right hand side and this will create this. This is your ability to roll anything from the monsters around here. You can use it to um, look at anything on the actual character sheet. You can also use it to terrify the players by sending images within the ND to the actual game log. As a player, what I see is I see the initiative and I see the, the image that's been sent to me. And this could be anything it can be you can just put in a url and it will show as well back to the player now the important thing is that sometimes people don't like how these are configured and um, as the dm you can actually move this block around i can minimize it i can double click it and i can cycle through the monsters as i move down if I close these and come up, this frame remembers exactly what was last time. So as a DM, you can start to get used to it. I always like to keep mine over on the right hand side. Um, you can also do the same with the combat tracker. You might not, you might want to keep the maps clear. Um, likewise, I can add up, move it around wherever you feel comfortable. Likewise, for a player, if you don't like the, the position of where the combat tracker is, you can move it around, you can minimize it. When you minimize it, it will come back up into the um, this position around the map, but you can just keep on moving it around. Likewise, if you close it, it will always come back to here, both as DM and as a player. Now, when you're having combats, you may end up going next round, and as the player, you'll see this. So you can actually see it. So if you have things which are round specific or they have a set time frame, I can move around and you can see as a player, it's now counting up the rounds. And that, when you've decided to do it, clear it all, the player.
player. Done. That is how the combat jacket works in above VTT.